start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You guys done with the paperwork? See the flag or? <laughs> well, and I come here and I put it this way. Oh, good. Because there's no stage, and if there's no stage, then it's at the audience. Right. Okay. If there is a stage, then it's at the speakers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I have a motion to uh, approve the meeting minutes from 4 10 23? Bauer Sox moves. Second. Mike Willison seconds. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed. Okay. Um, new uh, building permits. There was actually on the minute or the meeting, it was supposed to be two. One of them was Anchor Ingredients, the other one was Raymond's, and Raymond's has been checked out, and uh, he's been already staked out by Planning and Zoning okay. for the to go on that um, property. And if you don't know where the property is, you know, remember Connie Kemish? He used to be the state farm agent. Right across the street from Dallas Canberra. Kitty Corner. The new house across the street, right? Is that the house or is that? Well, I know that that name is Coonrath, the last I heard. I thought, I thought it was the house that Connie Kimish lived in. Well, that could be. Yes. And the, that, that, that's at least that's what I was told. Even though it's on the west side of the street. On our south, the even numbers are on the east side. Mike's looking it up. Oh, it's on Caledonia. Well, Dollar General, it's the, yeah, it's the house right across the street from the banner. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right across the street from the banner. That's Connie Kimish's old house. Oh, that big house. Yep. Uh, oh. Not a Brecken. Brecken used yep. to live there. Yeah, yeah. Brecken. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's correct. So anyway, then across the street, then Coonrath's are hoping to build a garage in the back. Oh, and that new place. Okay. That new one? Yeah. Yeah. So may I have a motion to. Oh, and then anchor ingredients. Um, they showed me that building permit, and it's got uh, the. It basically was to take and put up grain, some grain, grain bins, and I told them to pass that on to the guy from Mapleton, okay. because there was no concrete dimensions and stuff like that. And basically, if you get something specialized like that, you know. Well, even it needs a soil analysis because you don't know what the, the soil looks like. So they're planning to that's that's why we're not saying it, doing yeah. anything about that one. It's going to someplace else. Yeah. So, can I have a motion to approve this one building permit? Mike makes a motion to approve that's the Mike, one. That's Mike Wollison. Mike Lassard will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. None opposed. Okay, the next was, is the letter from um, Levi Reese. It has to do with, uh, it'd be where John Kritzberger lives, where he put up a building. And then the other one is uh, it's Kevin Paul's route. Paul Kevin Paul's route. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you what I know about Kevin Paul's routes. Okay. Uh, when he first put in that building permit, 
Mike and I went over there. I found the pins on the front of the yard. Okay? So Kevin had all the were had flags out where he wanted to put the building. And uh, so I found the pins. We measured from the pins back to, you know, basically what the lot line is. Okay? All right. And then you have to put the building up. Now that that lot there has got easements for the power. You know, there's power running back there. There's the um, cable, stuff like that. So we measured it out. We moved his stakes to where the building could sit. Okay. So at that point, we figured, okay, we should be done. We brought it to you, planning and zoning. We all voted on it. It got approved. Now, John Kritzberger, um, he moved the building in there, and I don't know if he got a building permit. I don't know if we seen a building permit for that I don't that think one. he did at first. So, anyway. There is a piece of paper with his name on it floating around someplace. Well, I, Eddie, I have seen a piece of... You have? Okay. Yeah. Well, that I don't know, but... Um, to me, that building is sitting on completely on his property. Okay, the person that owned that property ahead of time put in a building permit to put that fence up. Okay, so at that point, John moved the building in there, and it's the north side of the building is still on the inside of the fence area but he removed the fence i mean it's that close okay and i believe he did the same thing on the west side of the building so Le levi wanted to bring that up and he wants to know how we feel and the other thing is now back when i was on the city commission Okay. I don't know when this changed, but back when I was on the city commission, I had the planning and zoning portfolio, which I think Mike had the same portfolio. But Mike was always on planning and zoning, too. He's been on planning and zoning for many, many years, along with Ed Olson. Ed Olson, when he, when he resigned from planning and zoning, he told me I'm taking over his spot. And I told him I was going to stay there until Mike left. Okay? So, but anyway, um, where was I going? Well, you were talking about the placement of the shed. Yeah. But uh, the, the, back when I was on city commission, okay, I held the portfolio for planning and zoning. Planning and zoning back then used to take, and you know, Ed was the president of the planning and zoning at the time. He signed it, approved by planning and zoning. But still, the city commissioner had to sign it because it was the decision of basically the city council to approve what the city commission has had our, you know, or what the planning and zoning came from. Yeah. Now the way I understand that's not done right right now. I don't know when it changed or or whatever. So I don't know. You guys say your thoughts and uh Well is the my impression is that John's is still too close to the lot line. Uh, that I can't answer that question, but you know, if you look at the other sheds on that block, you know, we we where uh, Devin Lusso lived, the guy that bought that house, he put a shed in there. He moved it back over the over the right of way. Okay. Well, through many discussions, through planning and zoning. 
he actually moved that up, and his fence is on each side of the, his building is on each side of the fence, right at the same same point. So you're saying Tanner's shed and I don't know who Tanner is. He's the Devon Lazo house. Tanner. No, it, it was the guy before Tanner purchased the. Oh, okay. It was before the guy that Tanner uh, bought, it from. bought it from. So. This is in line with Kritzberger. Yes, correct. And they're both on the fence line. They're both, they're, yeah. yeah. The sides of the building or the back of the building, like Tanner's is right now, is on the fence line. Okay, now the fence, did that go where it was supposed to go? On which property? Well, those two properties. Did, did the fence, is it where it's supposed to be, or is it too far out, too far north? No, I wouldn't say it's too far north. Okay. And we aren't going to have any access issues? Shouldn't be now. Not about since, since the guy that owned Tanner's house moved that building in. Oh, yeah. Because that, that building that where Tanner uh, bought that property, mm -hmm. that building was actually on the easement. But it isn't anymore? No. Nope. It still is? Nope. So they moved it? They, the, the owners before Tanner bought that property moved it. So that it's not on the easement? So then, the, from the writer's perspective, they feel that it's still too, too far. I don't know who's talking to Levi about it. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say who's. This, this, this is Levi's letter. Yeah. And I don't know who's Levi, Levi is talking to Levi and complaining about this. Yeah. So, you know, all I can tell you is um, in my dwellings with with all of it okay we were I was on planning and zoning when we were trying to get that um, building moved out of the easement yeah and then I was in, also involved with um, Kevin Kevin's place and did they put this Kevin said where where, you, planned, where where Mike and I do or did they move those digs no Well, so unless somebody is complaining, yeah, I, I mean, to me, this is between Levi and the person that's complaining yeah. because of the fact of, of okay, city commission should be approving these yeah. building permits. After we, after we approve after, them. After we approve them. I'll, go on, I'll talk to Levi about it. So... You know, he wants to know, um, basically, are we doing it right? Are you know? And the way I look at it, if he doesn't trust and wants to microwave or micromanage planning and zoning, you know, why have a planning and zoning crew? Well, the thing is that I don't. I just think you know, I need to go back and look at all of these the documents again to understand what's, what is the limitation on this then and what are they saying that's wrong about it. Right. So that's the complaint. Yeah. And, and I, you I, know, it I I told the girl I told the girls today I'd bring it up. Yeah. And uh, you know, so that they can Put it, put it in their notes, and uh, then Levi can read it, and yeah. you know. I don't, think, I don't think we should make any change at this point in time. I'll go back and talk to Levi to find out what specifically they're complaining about. Yeah, and who? Well, you know, Ed, there, 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 there's other things too that has been bothering me about Levi, like the fifty dollar. You know, charge because if planning and zoning goes and looks at 
looks at a property or you know it goes back and it's and I've never ever agreed to that you know because of the fact is that you know we're in the old part of town you know so as far as right now hate to say it Mike is gone and just like I told Ed Olson I'm resigning also so as am I I am resigning I've got work stuff that keeps me away from here and I just don't like the the you know I haven't done this that long but the people that have put in 30 some years and then that letter just kind of eats at me I guess I, I think it's a instead of a phone call it's I mean maybe I'm reading that all wrong but I don't think I am so I just think with my work and uh, there's lots of times I find myself and it's quarter to six and I'm with a customer and I'm like ah. so I just think there'd be a, someone better that could fulfill and do a better job here than I so I am resigning well I just want to make sure that uh, you know I, I'm not that confident that I remember all the rules and regulations right. I don't even know the rules you know, so. so unless I walk over there and look at it I'm not going to feel confident that it, we've done the right thing. I was also under the impression that Mike was working with Kritzberger to yeah, that's to, what I had rectify out of it. the problem. Yeah, that there was because it came up still during the middle of the winter and we couldn't do anything. Yeah, because I thought there was three feet of snow more about it. So yeah, so but you know after Levi put this letter out, you know I drove by there. I did. You know, know. and you know. I didn't see any, I, I didn't see any problem because of the person next door and Levi didn't bring any bring any, bring any of that up that yeah. we had a struggle to get him to move that building forward. Yeah, I didn't notice the other building. So, well, I'll do a drive by and then I'll figure out what's going on with the questions or that are remaining. We'll go from there. I've did three drive bys. Huh. I did three drive-bys. Okay. So, okay. Uh, we done? On behalf of the commissioners, I would like to thank you guys for your service that you put in. I hate to see you guys go. This is a dirty shame. I think it was handled wrong. I think that letter should have been sent to the city commission before it got sent out, but it didn't. I think it's it was handled wrong, and hate to see all you guys go. And Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. But put in a lot of years. Well, I I didn't say I'm going to go, but I don't want to be the only guy here. <laughs> well, I'm not going anywhere. So, <laughs> so well, I mean, it's, it's, we need experience. <laughs> It's just things have changed so much. It just yes, it seems I agree. like it's just so easy. Instead of sitting down and talking with somebody, it's just easier to sit down on the computer and type a letter out. Yeah, and send it out. You know, in, in you know when they decided to change a lot of the building permit process in this part of town, you know, and. You know, I've always thought, you know, this is Hillsboro. This isn't Fargo or Grand Forks. I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm sure their building permit uh, program is a heck of a lot more stringent than what the town of Hillsboro actually needs. I think we probably did need some improvements though. Some, but not that extravagant. I think, you know, the the problem is that we we keep doing the same things the same way and we don't take the time to look around and see what somebody else is doing or how it gets done. And I can think of a lot of organizations where still using policies and procedures that were appropriate in the 80s, you know, and, uh, and I think that poses real problems for communities to keep doing things like that. 
So, nothing more to bring up? Well, we adjourn. Bauer signs. Bruce made the motion to adjourn. Second? I'll second that. Brent made second. Meeting adjourned.